Construct a truth table for the given statement. First thing you'll notice is that because there's a P, a Q, and an R in this logical statement, there will be 2 to the third, which is 2 times 2 times 2. There will be 8 rows. So we have 8 rows of the table already seated with every possible combination of true and false. And because this statement is a little bit more complex, I'm going to resort to the same strategy that I used in some earlier problems I worked from this section where I break the statement up into pieces and work with each piece and then put it back together. So in this case I'll have this piece which is an OR and this piece which is an AND. And as before I'll insert two columns that have those two pieces, work on them separately and then put it back together. So let's begin. Let's take the column with the OR in it. If you look at all the possible values of P and plug them in here, and then look at all the possible values of Q and plug them in here, you'll see that the resulting expression in that column with the OR um, statement has to be simplified. I'm looking down through there. I know that all the not trues can be changed to false, so I'll do that. I know that all the not falses can be changed to true, so I'll do that. And then I realize that I'm dealing with an or. And for an or statement, it's only false if both are false. If you look at down those entire eight rows, there are only two instances where both P and Q are false, or both where the left and, side, left and right hand side are false. So those will be your falses and the rest will be true. Now that we have that column, we move over to the next column. Do the same sort of thing except this time it's an AND. Start off, put all the P's in, then put the R's in. And that gives you a resulting statement in which all the not trues can be changed to false and all the not falses can be changed to true. Now you're dealing with an AND and for an AND the statement's only true if they're both true. If you look through here there are two instances where both sides are true. So those two are true and the rest are false. Now I'm going to take the third, actually the fourth column, the column with the OR, and move it over to the last column underneath the OR statement. Then I'll do the same thing with the AND statement, moving it over to the last column underneath its counterpart. Once I do that, I see that I simply have an implication to evaluate. Now remember with implications, it's only false if P is true and Q is false. In other words, the statement to the left of the implication is true and the statement to the right of the implication is false. If you look down through there, that happens four times. So all four of those are true, or excuse me, it's false. It's only false when that happens. That means the rest of them are true. So now, after having done that, I have the truth table.